Hello, everyone. Welcome to this new episode.、Um, today we is gonna be more like the last time than the first two、uh, episodes.、Uh, namely, we will play a、uh, um, a practice game on、uh, the Fox Go server、uh, at the nine dime level. We are this、uh, black player right here, and、um, so. Um, and we're gonna play with a、uh, particular flair of the game. So,、uh, namely, we are going to play as the rhino. The rhino is a、um, aggressive or over aggressive player.、Uh, he seeks fighting and never backs down.、Um, you guys may have heard of the rhino who charges.、Um, you know, he puts his head down and he charges. And so that's how、uh, that's how we are going to play.、Um, we are going to charge ahead, whether we are ahead or we are behind. So I'm sure、um, all of us have at some point met、um, the equivalent of a rhino player on、uh, on our、uh, you know go adventures.、Um, <coughs> The rhino player is very、um, it's it's very easy to、um, it's very easy to agitate. You can always、uh, mess with them uh, by uh, exposing、uh, a little bit of weakness, and then they will jump onto it,、uh, you know, like like、uh, like a rhino.、Um, so.、Um, Playing as a rhino is one of the simplest ways of、um, of playing the game.、Um, it it involves、uh, surprisingly little、um, uh, <coughs> strategy. There's very little、uh, board evaluations.、Um, you just、uh, keep looking for the fight,、um, and you、uh, never back down from a fight.、Uh, so here we have、um, we come to our、uh, first fight. It seems. So, which way to push and cut?、Um, that is a dilemma. Let's push and cut this way. Oh, look at this guy!、Um, he is、uh, doing this peep, and then this, this may this may be some sort of a combination or a combo.、Um, but we'll just、uh, we'll just play something. So.、Um, So when he plays this move,、um, let's、uh, let's play somewhere safe.、Um, well, not safe、uh, because well, I'm gonna tell you guys next. The rhino does not play safe. No safe, no safe or sick defensive plays. Those are for porcupines.、Um, but this is、um, this is where attacking his group now. Uh, the next thing to know when you play as、uh, a rhino is、um, playing this way. You inevitably you're gonna lose some groups.、Um, that just comes with、um, with playing such an aggressive、uh, aggressive style.、Um, so as a result, the rhino play sometimes、uh, decomposes or degenerates into Zombie player. So when you lose your groups, or when your fighting doesn't go your way, you、um, you end up being a、um, a zombie, which means you have a group that's about to be、uh, dead, or you have something that you cannot save.、Um, either way,、um, what you have to do then、um, is to use some ranks. Use corpse RG to、uh, score some gains, or even to revive your group. Now, because we are a rhino, we don't have too many, too much brains.、Um, this is this playing as a zombie、um, only happens when、uh, when things degenerate or、um, when things don't go according to plan.、Um, 
the plan, of course, is to charge down your opponent and then just um, you know beat him, beat him, uh, beat him down, uh, or something like that. Um, so a very notable player uh, who is uh, what we call a zombie styler. Um, he is a famous Lee Sedo. Uh, we featured one of his games uh, earlier. Um, uh, Lee Sedo, uh, because he is one of the best players in the world, he plays against other best players in the world. So uh, sometimes he uh, comes up um, on the losing end. Uh, so, uh, but then uh, what makes uh, these uh, special players so special is that um, when they do get into trouble, um, they're often able to get themselves out of trouble. And in uh, Lisa Do's case, he is a very, very strong utilizer of the zombie style. Um, now this is um, so when he um, when he loses a group, when his attacks fail, he um, he tends to somehow always uh, gain back the the losses that he took earlier um, with with sometimes very, very ingenious, uh, very good uh, plays. And so um, uh, it's become a term of um, almost endearment to uh, Lee Sedol that he is called the zombie player. Um, OK, uh, that basically sums up the uh, summary on the, um, on the playing style. Um, Next, we will concentrate a bit more on the game, and um, uh, and we'll see. Um, okay, so he has cut our group off as well. Um, we're gonna make this very uh, rhino-esque, ugly uh, sort of shape to cut him, and then we're gonna run this group out. I must say this uh, this fight here does not look at all favorable for us. Um, this it, it, we have very little liberties. We have uh, three liberties. Um, this corner is a um, you know a a a slab a slab um, a slab um, and. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if this story has a happy ending. So uh, all of our hopes are pinned on uh, surrounding and capturing this uh, this white group here. Can we do it? Oh, can we play this? Leave this cold. Um, because if we do anything else, he will Atari that and then Atari that and then uh, play there. So we are caught in this code. Now, if he connects as a code thread, we should probably answer it. Um, this helps us a lot um, before without losing any of those. Uh, OK, I'll, I'll talk later. <laughs> um, that should be a close threat, and uh, he may not answer that. He may take this. This is 10, 20, then he'll have 10, 20, 30, 25, yeah, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So uh, it looks like we will have more territory if he uh, finishes a code here. He has a few more threats, like uh, this Atari and then that Atari. But then we have a few more, like the cut later. Um, so he really just has these two threads. It, it looks surprisingly uh, not too bad for us. Um, he, he probably needs to um, uh, end the code. This is 10, 20, 30, 30 points. 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. He does not end the code. Yeah, it, it, 
Um, yeah, our group is going to be, well, after this then, our group on the outside would be um, more or less completely safe. And uh, the good thing about um, our strategy is that once we cut, um, this doesn't lose too much. If we Atari is here, we can Atari and capture the two stones on the uh, on the upper side instead. So we don't lose too much on the exchange. Um, it has one more threat, which is that Atari. But then we can do some sort of a throwing. That loses a little, but not not too much. Atari there would only be one threat, so. Well, if you place here, he wants to use that as a co-thread. So if we just, uh, no, we're going to take the co first. Um, that doesn't seem like, uh, like a major problem for now. Yes, he will use the Atari as a thread, which we forced him out on. And so next, if we just capture that. Um, um, I don't think he can capture our corner. So if that's if that's true, then he has to capture that uh, at some point. So um, so if that's true, then uh, then we then it's like he uh, fixed this uh, code. And uh, we got a uh, better result than the original um, exchange there, uh, close right there. Um, but let's see what happens in the corner. Um, if he pushes here, then there's a 1-1 one, one point. So, uh, so whatever shape he makes here, as long as we capture it, we can uh, we can live. Um, yeah, I think we can just uh, live no matter what. If he places there, uh, that's a good move, but I don't think that will work either. So we should be fine. Um, I think we play with it. No, we play that. Yeah, we play that, and then, um, oh crap, he punished. Ah. Ah, we have to extend. Ah. 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 Once again, once again, we, once again, we, uh, we do this. Oh. We could have extended, I think. Ah, oh, this is bad. It's gonna Atari. Um Okay, let's um, capture this. Uh, at least we get something back. So, but this is to be expected. Um, remember, the rhino is anything. If if the rhino is anything, it is um, it is not attention to detail. The rhino has no attention to detail, almost uh, whatsoever there. Um, so the fact that we paid no attention to uh, to details. Um, isn't so much, it isn't so unexpected, let's just say that. Okay. Okay. I think, um, I think this guy, uh, he smells blood in the water. And uh, he's trying to press all the advantages he has. Um, 
So can we do something here? Yeah, let's uh, pick another site here. Let's Atari and connect. With the Ataris, we will connect there. And if we cut, we will Atari and uh, present bamboo. Um, the corner dying was um, uh, was really was really bad, and it was a very um, avoidable mistake. Um, we just had to extend on the first line instead of what looked like a good move. Um, uh, so uh, say he captures all of these, uh, say he captures a corner and uh, we save the 6. He has 10, 20, 30, uh, so uh, we should still be okay on territory. 20, 30, 40, 50. By the way, uh, I am counting the uh, points for us for uh, your benefit, not really for ours, for mine, uh, because remember, I am a rhino. I don't think very much. So, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, it's nice to, uh, to know who's winning. He has 10, 20, 30, 30 points. We have 10, 20, 30, 40 points, something like 40 points. We have 50 points, so uh, we should still be fine. If we give him these six stones, he has to make uh, maybe 40, 45, 46. Um, but it seems like we have really, really scored a uh, decisive blow here. If we play this, yeah, we capture the corner and save our group here. And he has a weak group here. Um, another, um, another avid description of the Rhino style is sort of like the, the ogre style. Uh, ogre being the um, O G E R, O G E R, ogre style. Um, you know, the ogre, he comes at you with a club and uh, with a rock at the end, so a mace maybe, and uh, he swings it around and then he just he has a lot of muscles, but he has very, very little uh, brains or, he's, or uh, thinking behind his actions. So um, it's very fun to play. It requires very little thinking. All you have to do is you say, um, what is the most severe attack I can bring about um, on the enemy uh, group, and uh, and then you just have to um, you just have to play it, um, and he uh, makes some kind of a light in the bottom. Uh, if he double honeys makes a call, I we can draw, uh, we can keep here and then descend or something, and he should be. Uh, should be a no go. Okay, so we just have to take care of this. Uh, even if these stones die later, I think it's fine. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Um, sorry, I keep uh, getting caught up in my uh, in uh, in my uh, counting. Okay, um, because I think we are somewhat stronger than him here, uh, so it's um, I can't really think of a way that uh, that he would gain an advantage in the following fighting, especially since we're playing the Rhino style. So we are just going to keep pushing uh, until he reaches a wall here, uh, because we've captured his corner. Um, we are relatively happy. Next, I think we will uh, play this move uh, in preparation for uh, taking back these uh, those six. Yeah, we are going to uh, surround this group and uh, see see if he has 
see if we can do anything. This peep and then that peep is sente. So we can just first um, fix ourselves and then um, and then uh, you know play what we wanted. Now this is not strictly um, what a rhino would do. Um, would a rhino fix himself? Mm, doubtful, but hey. Um, uh, this the best way of attacking is to go at it with at a point of uh, strength. Um, strongly charge into the uh, opponent, and that's what the rhino excels at. Um, okay, we have him surrounded. Uh, we probably don't have him. Um, down and out. Um, he has some resources down here. Maybe he can make an eye. He definitely cannot make an eye there. Um, ah, nice move, right? Nice move. Um, nice move by him. So, um, if he spends another move, um, maybe right here, uh, he can make an eye here. Uh, we can take the eye away by playing this and doing that. Um, so if we place on the bottom, uh, we, sh we will be fine. And the process of making an eye here would um, make our corner stronger. So, and now we are relatively strong on the side anyway. So, um, we are okay. I think he is almost alive. Um, okay, we play here. He has only one eye here. Uh, let's see if we can make an eye here. He, I think he can by making use of that sente. But if you use that sente, uh, what are you going to do with the outside group, right? Okay. Well, maybe he plans to Tanuki right now and play here. Uh, in that case, we can play here to take the eye away and then uh, try to take away the eye on the bottom. Wow. Okay, first, um, so he didn't settle with that. So first we will um, Atari here to get us a little bit of benefit here, and then we will Hane get a little bit more here. See if he, um, okay, so he plays relatively um, efficiently, no matter. Okay, uh, we, let's not do that first. Let's first see if we can um, do something here. So he wants to uh, live by playing this Kosumi here. Um, no matter, let's take first take the uh, territory up top. Um, we are going to attack the corner, secure territory on the side, and uh, see what happens. So he has gained himself a little bit more territory. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Uh, we have we have more than he does. Uh, this is good. Um, um, what does he want? Uh, we should be okay, even though we have lost um, a lot of stones on the right side. This is. Uh, 21, and then a few stones were taken, so uh, we lost quite a bit of stones. 
Um, so it's not the most ideal uh, Rhino uh, game, uh, but uh, it, it's a pretty good Rhino game. We really, really um, charged at him down here at the bottom and really fought our way out. And in the process of um, fighting our way out, we captured what re what was uh, what was surrounding us. So uh, best best way to uh, best way to uh, escape. Uh, so this is a relatively successful game, given that we will not run into any uh, life and death uh, situation with our large group here. Which is which is possible. Okay. Um. Let's let's play this. Um. Take away one of the eyes, and um, have him uh, fix his uh, eye shape. Yeah. If you place this, we will play that. Oh, look at him. He wants to. Um, he wants to uh, connect back. In. He wants to connect back. Um, cool. We should be relatively safe. Um, next, we can honey connect and then. Okay, here. Yeah, we can play that. So first, let's play um, this movie. It's Sente, it makes uh, a little bit of an uh, ice face. Um, and I think we are basically uh, set. Um, We'll make a peep. Well, we'll make a, we'll, we'll take uh, another uh, territory point. We will honey this. We will play this in Sente. Um, now playing that in Sente uh, gives us an eye on the bottom um, if we need it. Mm. Yeah, let's play a safe move. Um, this gives us a way uh, back home. Yes, we are going to take this and pay. Uh, now he can play this move to take away one of our eyes space here but we can kind of back by playing there so let's uh, let's play what we wanted to uh, earlier <clears throat> wow okay so um, we'll take that uh, we can Atari and then play here um, so we should be okay uh, we have several uh, safety uh, safety nets. Okay, uh, surround the territory on the side, and we should be um, a comfortable uh, winner here. Yeah, this is his last uh, chance. Um, we're gonna Atari this. Sente. Just. Um, just so that he doesn't have a chance to, um, uh, to you know, to to let these uh, connect back, but still destroy my eye space. And we can play there and live. So, so we can play this, and uh, and uh, capture uh, capture that. Okay, um, we will first push um, and then make this, make this, uh, make this eye. 
And uh, there should be an I there, yes. Okay. Um, and this is the uh, maximum efficiency move. Push, block, push, block, push, block. Yes, uh, we did think of that before we can play here. If this is Sentai, it's Sentai, okay. We can connect this back uh, to here or to Atari. Yes, uh, and we saw that too. And then we can uh, connect this guy back. No, we really. other thought that no, let's just uh, play that first. Um, now what if he tries to make a Saki? Uh, we'll deal with uh, Saki uh, later. The uh, harness. Ah, we place this. I think we will at hurry. Yeah, can we block uh, for extra points? Um, yeah, we can block for extra points. Um, Yep. This is all ours. All ours. Hmm. If we play here, is he's gonna he's gonna push and cut Atari Atari, and then um, here he is. Wow, hmm. this this isn't um, this isn't as um, flawless as we had imagined. But let's just let him take that and then capture the uh, this one still. Okay, uh, another count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Wow, he has 70 points. Well, 60 some points. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, 100, 100 should be enough. Um, so if 100 is enough, We should be okay. He has six liberties. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, we have more. Uh, let's take that. Although we should be okay. Okay, we are just waiting for the uh, resignation. Um, yes, let's respond to uh, the addition.
he's gonna resign once he uh will sing these uh these liberties. Cool. Uh and there we have it. Uh let's go into a very short review and um um uh and then we will uh, wrap this up. So uh the rhino or the ogre um is a very very common um play style of, of many many players um especially uh in the beginner level and as we can see here um you can still play um very uh ogre esque uh, or rhino esque uh, later on so it looks like we played a pretty good game um we mostly went ahead uh, except something that happened uh around here i'm not sure why there's uh, some dips here um but it's most likely just um just uh, the computer not having enough computational resources it thinks we're uh, almost uh, dead or something so uh that's no big deal um how we uh how we really got ahead was uh the fighting here um okay we took the opportunity of um his invasion here and uh and really went uh went on on the attack we didn't attack the invasion uh stones we attacked the other two uh, and uh and that's good once we got uh once we forced uh, these two stones to run out um his potential territory on the side is already destroyed that is almost as much as whatever he destroyed on uh, of our potential on the right side um so uh the rhino charging is uh not completely uh mindless um, so here it's a pity that we couldn't get uh something like this in sente um uh, you know uh, before on the attack uh against the white group on the right side if we could get this in sente um our stones in the corner are ultra strong right uh lo look at these guys and then we can do um whatever we, we want on the on the left side these stones that he has these seven are uh too big to um to sacrifice and they're too uh weak to really run out and have a have a good time uh, so it's a pity that we couldn't get the, that in Sente. Um, now let's see, let's see if the computer wants us to play that. I have a feeling that it would, it would recommend something. Uh, oh look, it recommends uh, something even, um, even less Sente, uh, or <laughs> it, it recommends this very easy move. Um, um and that we should have played uh, so whatever the case um this earlier um charge rhino charge really took uh um what was good uh, but we neglected to uh connect ourselves um a rhino almost never connects anyway and here is how you can you see um here is a place where you see one of the uh weaknesses of the of the rhino style uh in, you you are you're not really too concerned about your weaknesses and um you let the attack um dictate uh dictate whatever happens uh so uh what was a extremely um strong position that we had earlier if we had just uh, taken the gote to connect is now become a very it's almost like we are trying to surround this white group um which is a rock with uh paper now in rock paper scissors um paper beats rock um so um so you know maybe uh, maybe it's okay uh but um but but you know it could have been a um um it could have been uh uh something better <laughs> Uh, so we fought this code. The good thing about the code is that um, beforehand, 
um, we had a we had a weakness in our shape here, which is a honey cutting point uh, against the black group on the bottom. Uh, but because of the uh, on the course of fighting the code, we fixed it because he connected here. So that's good. Um, he uh, let's see let's see if he should have um, taken the code. I think the AI would want him to. Oh, the AI wants him to block. And um, oh look, he played exactly uh, like the AI played. Um, uh, uh, descend. But if that's true, then he can't uh, uh, he can't answer everything I have on the top. So so here, uh, let's see if we could have um, lived uh, comfortably. I think we could have. Uh, I think I just had to, yeah, both moves were fine. And that's the shape that would have, um, that, that would have ended up. Um, I'm sure the computer would recommend this, uh, descend on the first line. Wow. Man. Easy, uh, easy life. Uh, but, um, but we didn't. We just uh, we just uh, simply died in the corner. Uh, it was alive, but now it's dead. Um, but despite this, um, look at this. The computer thinks we should have simply blocked and uh, uh, just let the corner die, and it would have it would have still been uh, good for us. Um, okay, and so what we did. That I thought was, you know, heroic stuff was, uh, was not really important in the eyes of the uh, AI here, uh, because um, we were uh, winning by a lot. Uh, okay, and so, um, so that's good. Uh, we were winning. We won with Rhino tactics, um, and I think we will end it here. Um, uh, tell tell me what uh, kinds of styles you guys would like me to uh, play next, um, and if, uh, if you don't, I will pick one. Uh, I will pick one up uh, for next time. Um, okay, uh, have a good night, everybody. Um,